Hello and thanks for checking out yet another one of our Aquatic Invasive Species Spotlight videos. This video is going to discuss fanwort. Now many invaders we've mentioned in previous videos are not native to any part of the United States, but fanwort is an important example of how plants can be regionally invasive as well. Fanwort is currently listed as a tier 2 or emerging species in the Lower Hudson Prism. While fanwort is native to parts of South America, it was actually more likely introduced into New York from its native range in the southeastern United States. It was first reported in New York in 1947, possibly arriving from aquarium release into the Great Lakes region. Fanwort is a popular aquarium plant due to its resilience and attractiveness. It's a very beautiful plant. Uh, fanwort is distributed throughout the eastern United States, both as a native and invasive plant, as well as in some western states. Fanwort is a submerged perennial plant that can be found in most shallow freshwater habitats, but it does best in slow-moving or stagnant waters as it is prone to fragmentation. This plant needs muddy or silty substrates, preferring waters less than 10 feet deep, but it can be found in waters up to 30 feet deep. It is tolerant of turbid waters with high productivity and a wide range in pH, but it is sensitive to alkalinity and elevated levels of calcium. Because the plant is easily fragmented, it has developed uh, quite a survival mechanism in the form of a thick mucus that allows it to survive free floating for up to eight weeks. Those fragments are then able to develop new roots and rhizomes, increasing its chances of spreading and establishing new populations. Fanwort does produce seeds from a single emergent self-pollinating flower, but its main mode of reproduction is through fragmentation. Plant fragments break off readily in late summer as the stem becomes brittle, allowing it to spread by floating downstream or hitchhiking on boats and other equipment. Fanwort's resilience, tall, dense growth, and broad leaves allows it to easily outcompete native plants, as well as impede uh, water flow, clog drainage pipes, and the dieback of large infestations reduce oxygen levels, impacting native aquatic animals. Fanwort can be identified by its very long stem. The stem is submersed and can be reddish purple in color up to 32 feet long. Uh, the stem being held in this photo is one fanwort plant, so that's just how long it can get. The leaves are thin, uh, vein-like, and fan-shaped. Uh, the leaves appear to be forked at the end, and they are opposite along the stem with two leaves per petiole. The plant loses its shape out of water, as you can see here in this picture. The leaves don't stay uh, fanned out. Once you pull it out of the water, they do go limp. And there is an emergent small white cup-like flower that is on the very end of the stem. And you might see this uh, anywhere from May to September. So that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and be sure and check out more of our species spotlights.